Welcome at uh, this uh, late presentation. I'm very happy that uh, we are still so many here. Uh, and uh, Gustav is going to present us uh, Free Post, which is a, a free email association. So please. Yes, thanks. Thanks. Uh, yes, Gustavik, uh, that is uh, me. Uh, I am, um, uh, so I'm, yes, present uh, Free Post. That is what I'll do. Uh, professionally, what I do is uh, I, w I work as a physicist with statistics and, and stuff, but most of my engagement and uh, the reason why I'm here is uh, because my interest in, in the general principles of uh, technology and societal development and, and what drives the influence patterns uh, of uh, our use of technology. Uh, I have been uh, engaged in the free software community in Gothenburg for many years and uh, one of, uh, uh, of my engagement then is uh, free post. Um, I have presented uh, free post uh, and the principles behind, behind the association. We formed the association in uh, 2010, uh, many times before, also at FSCONS. Uh, what I sometimes show is uh, this picture. It was originally, uh, this was part of, of our original pitch of the idea of creating this association, me together with Stefan, uh, uh, Stefan Kangas uh, in, in uh, FSCONS 2010. And I've used it a, a few times since. And I thought it, would, uh, it was uh, convenient uh, uh, since, uh, like we had the opening talk uh, by uh, Vinay, not keynote, but the, the first talk. Uh, where we discussed uh, the um, uh, richness of representation and can a human be a number and so on. So what it reads is like uh, uh, customer data is an asset that you can uh, sell. Uh, it's totally ethical because our customers would do the same if they uh, to us if they could. Uh, sounds fair. Uh, in phase one, we'll dehumanize the enemy by calling them data, and we are the enemy, uh, apparently, and uh, yes. Uh, what I will do this time is take a little bit broader stand, uh, will be more personal, and I will be inspired, uh, will, uh, many of the things I, I said is, uh, will, uh, are inspired by uh, things I read uh, recently and uh, things I've observed. Enemy, yeah, I feel I feel that I am, I am the enemy more, more than ever uh, and uh, that it's, uh, it is time to be a little bit more outspoken about the political uh, background of, of what we do and so on. Uh, what is free post about? What is our reaction? This is where we start, the use of freedom. The freedom to have access to, uh, to uh, uh, everyday infrastructure. I read this book, uh, Gemensam Nytta in uh, Swedish, uh, Beni Comuni uh, Italian. I didn't do the Italian version, but the Swedish one, it's not translated to English. Uh, who knows the guy? So, uh, Hugo M Mattei, he, um, he uh, is an Italian um, uh, philosopher, and, uh, and he, uh, in uh, in this, in this particular case, what he does is uh, suggest a little bit critique approach on, um, or, um, on, the, on the common division of assets between public and uh, private. And he suggests to introduce, uh, reintroduce uh, the commons as a, as a formal way of owning stuff or controlling stuff or managing things, resources in general. So that is... Um, Where he starts is uh, in the tragedy of the, the commons. So uh, it was, for me it was like fully blank, uh, or I didn't even have a, a slide on it. I don't know what to write really, because I, like either it's a very simple, simple uh, concept or it becomes very complicated if you, if you try to. But uh, do you know about this uh, tragedy of the common, uh, commons thing? It's like an economic theory about uh, how, uh, how uh, common assets are ruined by 
by uh, managing things together. Of course, that's uh, total crap talking. And, um, and Matei's critique about that, and many others are as well. So um, it's, for example, in uh, two years ago in FSCon's, uh, Dougal had uh, like two, uh, two sessions in a row where we just did nothing but, uh, but making fun of the tragedy of the commons. But I think it is a good point, because um, uh, there is a logic behind, uh, uh, behind here that says uh, in economic theory, that uh, if something is not uh, managed, then it will be uh, eventually be ruined by by those that uh, use it. Uh, but what we also see is what is not managed cannot yield profit, and that is maybe that's like we become a little bit suspicious here. Maybe that is the background to to why uh, the suggestion is that everything should be should be uh, publicly or privately managed, and there is no room for anything else. And regarding the enclosure of the commons, uh, there is, uh, this, the, um, is this notion about the, the, the scarcity of resource. Uh, and what, what we find is that, okay, so um, the resource looks uh, scarce when you start to, when you start to manage it. And, uh, privatized way, but maybe it can be the opposite, that actually it's the management itself that causes the scarcity, scarcity, scarcity uh, as such. And this is also what, uh, what, uh, what uh, uh, Matei suggests, and this is also what I will, I will try to give an, uh, as an example if you can. So I will, I will talk a little bit uh, about uh, the commons and, and different ways and how, how they are threatened and, and so back and forth, and then I will get back to like the digitized version of the of the commons and why how how it all fits together with and uh, like with free post and so on and so forth uh, so bear with me uh, not this is not uh, technology yet uh, okay in short public private uh, let's see introduce also public private and commons and put them uh, opposite uh, I would uh, like to see uh, uh, sometime in the future. I also li like to explore explore uh, this um, uh, dichotomy where we put uh, maybe the public is actually the big problem. Uh, but uh, I will save that for uh, for later, if the scones or some other other topic. So we will we will stay with with uh, this today. Okay. So what we see, uh, this is all Matthias uh, talking um, in the public private, and I do have a pointer. So can do like this. So in the pillar or, or in the order of public uh, and private, uh, we find uh, all those bad things uh, and negative aspects. And then uh, when we do things common together and commonly managed, then we end up here. So we have owning versus usage. We have to, be, to have instead of to be. Uh, economy, ecology. Right to profit versus the right to use. Exchange versus responsibility. Uh, competition versus cooperation, uh, hierarchies versus democracy, and short-term fixes versus sustainability. And this is just a subset of like he, there's, a, there's a long book so, and it talks about a lot of things. But but these are examples and and uh, what, what we see. Okay, so this is maybe not a, such a bad idea. Actually. So we should maybe do this. Um, he d he talks about natural resources um, and enclosure of uh, the common assets. So one example uh, that I think is illustrating is, uh, so here I, I have a piece of device, I'm very fond of it. I consider it to be my, my own. But what, what rights do I have to enclose this uh, piece of, uh, of, um, uh, of oil and uh, minerals, uh, silicon, uh, just for my own usage, and thereby deny our next generation or other people like m my children and so on to experience the same uh, things later in their life. Mm? Examples uh, uh, and, and like it just continues. Um, when we do, uh, when so one example of like doing that, that we find in, in Gothenburg and I have a picture of it is when we, when we do uh, uh, gardening together. So this is the uh, the Tesamma Solingen in Mundal in Gothenburg where where I live. And 
uh, we observe that uh, people uh, doing stuff together. Yield, the yield is so much more compared to if everyone has uh, his or her own small patch. Uh, we uh, currently, our um, uh, the public transport uh, company in Gothenburg has an advertisement using this picture. Uh, oh. I don't need to say so much, I think. What, uh, what we do find is, is uh, we, of course, become uh, disappointed when, uh, when things are, are put, uh, when it's questioned, our rights to, or our freedom of uh, traveling, or our freedom of doing the gardening. We have also one example is the forest garden in, in Gothenburg, where uh, it's a similar, a similar managed uh, system where, where you, uh, so for the for do you know about the concept of forest gardening? Some do, nodding. So there's some idea that uh, trees should be, like you should do most with trees because they are easy, like you don't need to dig so much in dirt and uh, the yield will be a lot. Ah, so there's a forest garden in Gothenburg and, and now all of a sudden it's threatened by uh, someone wanting to build houses there. Yep. Uh, building houses, that's good. Like we need more housing, but then, uh -huh. so we see uh, what we see and understand is that, uh, that the commons uh, are, uh, uh, are typically such that uh, that we don't. Um, it's when they are threatened uh, to be enclosed. This is when we understand that they actually exist, and that is something uh, uh, common for the commons. Um, yes, of course, people have become upset, and they uh, start to to fight and defend. Uh, um, and um, well, let's see what's next. Yeah, okay. I will, I will talk a little bit more uh, about uh, around this picture. Uh, probably this is a bad one, yeah. Um, but no, Matti, he doesn't, he says nothing about uh, the, the forest gardening in Gothenburg. But he talks about other, other struggles. So uh, he, he talks about the, the farmers' uh, struggle for right to use of land, both as a geographical uh, notion and, uh, and also in terms of the soil. Uh, that uh, and he talks about uh, the right to use of water, the right to the use of water. That is the the urban people's struggle, where the right to land is the is the rural people's struggle. He he exemplifies the students' uh, struggle for right to independent universities. Uh, he he is critique about uh, large infrastructure. Um, projects and so on and so forth. A lot of examples from, from Latin America, of course. Um, and to stand up and defend is our responsibility. And this is where I get to the next book uh, that I re-read again. I read it the first time when it came uh, in uh, 2003 in, on, uh, uh, in Swedish. It's called uh, Krig om vattnet, uh, Water Wars, Privatization, Pollution and Profit. Krig om vattnet, plundring och profit. It's uh, Vandana Shiva, who knows about, uh, about her. Yes, a few. Huh? So uh, uh, she's an Indian uh, uh, physicist as well, and a uh, human rights uh, defender. And she, uh, in this particular case, she talks about uh, the privatization process of, uh, who read the book? Huh? You did, huh? Cool. Uh, privatization process of, uh, of waters, both in India and the world as a whole. Um, I noted when I, when I did this slide uh, how, how the, um, uh, the title in Swedish is weakened. So we have, uh, uh, like we lose a few words as a plundring uh, that is, um, uh, I don't know the word, but uh, plundering, okay. Uh, plundering and profit. So, like, okay, so we uh, miss this, miss out the privatization. But also, uh, water wars. It's a plural, like abstract form, is made into like this singular uh, particularity. So, uh, huh? um, we should probably read it in English. Maybe it's more radical. But anyhow, um, examples there. Okay, uh, water is special. Um, it's something that is very fundamental for our survival. It's so concrete. And, and um, this is also why it's so attractive to, to privatize. Uh, it's very, very simple and it's so fundamental. Every person needs exactly 10 liters for the everyday uh, sustain, uh, 
to to sustain themselves. Um, not more. Like, what should we do with eleven? Like, we don't need it. Huh? Uh, we see in uh, in Gothenburg, uh, we had this uh, uh, this magazine that is sent out by the mus municipality, and they and they state there that uh, the flow in Jota Elv, which is uh, which runs through Gothenburg, actually it's not even Jota Elv, it's Nordrell, which is just a subset of Jota Elv, is enough to s to support the whole population of the earth with water, what they need. So uh, this is not a scarce resource. This is nothing that you need to to privatize, of course. Uh, you should not privatize, it becomes very scarce. So well, this is what the, what the book is all about, how, how uh, scarce it becomes through privatization. Oh. The, like the liberal forces uh, behind all this, uh, this thing, they're very strong. Like uh, uh, what we, uh, it's almost in, in Bolivia, Matera writes about it, that uh, that um, Veolia, the French uh, French uh, company that uh, uh, got the right for to the water in the in the capital, uh, they almost managed to forbid uh, collection of rainwater from the rooftops from the roofs, because uh, that threatened their profit model. Uh -huh. It's like this is total crazy. I get uh, all uh, I get all very upset. Like, uh, okay, so we have, uh, uh, it's a, we have the accumulation of, uh, of not only influence here, but also like capital. Uh, it, um, oh, we must uh, do something. Uh, and uh, we need to take the influence back. This is what I write here. Uh, and what, uh, what shall we do? What, uh, and this is when uh, uh, I created an email service. So uh, we get together and we, uh, we, uh, uh, we so as we, as we wrote the originally, organization for a change distributed email system. This is what we do. Um, most time when uh, I presented free post before, uh, it has been, uh, I said things such as, okay, so Eben Mogen held this, uh, this talk, Freedom uh, in the Cloud. Have you listened to, to that? Uh, very important and influential, apparently. Uh, for example, we uh, from the outcome was that we we took the initiative of creating the Free Post Association, uh, but also initiatives such as GNU Social and uh, Diaspora, and and also an uh, own cloud. When they started, uh, uh, they claim to have been inspired by that talk. So uh, it's like a whole movement, actually, uh, uh, all all referring back to that point. But he is against uh, like um, software as a service. Uh, we say that Google, like, uh, Google is the big uh, threat to uh, user freedom. Uh, what uh, we wanted to provoke as well is uh, uh, this, um, this celebration in of Google and GitHub and similar projects also within the free software community. We see that is totally unnecessary. We should not use them. Like these are these are. Uh, really bad uh, services for like they do not respect our our freedom. Uh, I used to talk about like infringement on internet, uh, uh, con uh, like the what we are exposed to, uh, integrity and privacy, exposure to unwanted uh, content. Uh, our freedom is threatened, uh, denial of influences, and and then we m draw the conclusion. Okay, yes, they do read your email, and we must do something. We to escape it. But uh, it's more. So it doesn't stop with, uh, with uh, escaping a service of uh, Google. Communication infrastructure, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's something more. It's actually a common. Um, and what I, so I claim those three things, uh, that uh, communication infrastructure, is a uh, common as any common, and uh, the common demand democratic organization. And then I say, this is a democratic organization, and this is how you can organize in order to to uh, respect the uh, the freedom and respect the common. It's not obvious uh, how digital technology and uh, technology based on internet can be recognized as a resource and common good, uh, though user friendly. In its usage, uh, digital technology is intrinsically intricate and complicated in its internals. And the distance is far between the 
providing and in the consuming end. And therefore, uh, uh, what, uh, what is the interpretation of the democratic influence and control in the case of digital technology? And what is use of freedom for internet services? I read my own writing here in order to get all the, all the words correct because I think this is, this is important. And it's, it's important, and it's also important that, uh, that uh, complicated resources such as electronic communication uh, and infrastructure around it uh, can be made uh, subject to democratic control and must be. How does it, so, so uh, how does it play? Um, democracy. I say um, uh, we create technology, but it's definitely not all about technology. It cannot stop at technology. Uh, what we do have is a, is a uh, foundation that uh, we have uh, the bylaws and our manifesto, the statement of principles. Uh, we work with three pillars. We say that it's equally important that uh, we get the technology right, but also that we get uh, the knowledge right. So we do uh, education, uh, adult education. We have uh, workshops and uh, we educate ourselves. Let's see, where am I? We have, um, yes, um, we educate ourselves uh, and um, both on technology and of areas of interest, so politics and like all kinds of things. Uh, we work with propaganda and that is what I do here. Not, not quite because this is not, not maybe not the audience that need the most of propaganda. But uh, I think it's important because I have a few things that I want to get through here. That is actually uh, what I, when I go around listen to talks, it's, uh, I get a little bit upset how people are like uh, not so, not so, um, um, how do you say? Um, stringent on the terms that they use. Um, so I think it's needed. So there was something asked, like, what are you doing down here? Like, why, why, why here? These people are already involved. Uh -huh. I don't know. Uh, sustainability is our core value. If it's not sustainable, it cannot be, uh, it cannot be maintained. And in that case, it cannot be respect uh, the, the continuation of, of uh, of uh, usage and the use of freedom. Equal influence, that is the democratic uh, right that we have, and equal access, that is. I cannot understand democracy in any other way apart from equal influence and also equal ac access. And the later is something that Leif Jöran was, was uh, also uh, uh, keen on pointing out, and uh, that is very true. What's the next? Yes, okay. Here comes uh, free uh, computer labor, and this is where we start. Okay, so uh, wha what is uh, freedom, what it's all about? Um, we all recognize uh, the four freedoms of free software. I should not say that we all do that, but do I should rather ask, do we all recognize the four freedoms of free software? I see a few nodding. Yeah, okay. Uh, so that is the right to run uh, uh, the uh, programs however you want. Uh, it's the right to study and modify uh, the, the software uh, as you wish, and you are allowed to share with whoever you want this software. And also, if you happen to modify, you can allow also like to allow to share your modified versions. And, and this is what uh, the Free Software Foundation suggests uh, that uh, that uh, free s free software is about. And it's not. Um, it's not the, the software that is actually free, software is dead, but uh, the user that is free. We uh, suggest uh, four freedoms as well uh, of computer labor, starting with free software. So for, for computer labor to be free, uh, I, I uh, require that the work is performed exclusively with free software. I uh, demand that the computer hardware is entirely at the person's possession and control. Five minutes. Good. Uh, and that the work material and information uh, that one work with, and that is uh, the content, uh, like where you start off uh, typing or whatever you do, is totally in your possession, at your possession. Uh, that means that uh, licenses, etc., are 
are, uh, are uh, accessible and, uh, and also the content. Uh, also the result should fully be at your own possession and control. I don't require that the result should be freely licensed. You can license your result however you want, that is a freedom, but uh, uh, it should fully be within your possession. That means that it's not compatible with non-open formats. Okay, so you should uh, you should write proprietary uh, articles or whatever you want to write, whatever you want to do. But you should uh, you should uh, keep them in in uh, in uh, uh, open formats. This is the use of freedom, and. Um, this uh, what we uh, and uh, what we do with free posts is a way to respect the user freedom also in the complex way of of uh, common uh, computer uh, work uh, providing an email like having having you working with your email is much more complex than any what i i expect any single person to be able to do and this is why getting together and doing this together is the way forward and we do that through doing something. We do. We provide the technology. We uh, and and um, we provide the knowledge for you to engage if you want uh, with uh, with uh, the association and what we do. And also, uh, we extend this forward. We we make it possible to to um, uh, uh, for you to uh, continue do this through through propagating it in society. Uh, another source of inspiration, and this is when I like, uh, okay, oops, I forgot a whole section. This is what it looks like, and this is how, it, okay. So this is the yearly meeting. Uh, meetings, meetings, we do a lot of meetings. Um, and of course it's engaged. Uh, here we see faces we recognize as well. Uh, uh, the stickers, um, you find <coughs> them downstairs, come down, have them. Uh, this is another workshop, we're free. So this is where we, uh, where we uh, free people from Google. So you, uh, that is a uh, requested uh, one. So like in the meeting we said, yes, okay, so what should we do? Oh, uh, I want to uh, have, a I want to learn to send a crypto email. Okay, and uh, also the very popular was uh, uh, download or email from Google and, uh, and so on so forth. It turned out to be a more complex process than what I thought. Uh, I'm not a uh, Google user myself, so I don't know, but uh, together we can do it. Together, like we have someone that want to uh, free oneself and then so on and so forth. Uh, yes, migrate from Google and uh, postering. This is uh, me uh, setting up this poster in, uh, in Angered. In, uh, uh, so that was also, it's uh, oh, not the best photo, but it's a nice uh, background. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, also a point of uh, inspiration. So this is where we, okay, I read, I, this is the book I read uh, at the very moment. It's also about uh, growing stuff. Uh, Fukuoka, who knows uh, the guy? A few, few uh, two hands, uh-huh. Uh, so he's, uh, so it's a Japanese um, uh, farmer or, and researcher. Uh, he's actually dead now. The book is written in the 60s. Uh, has been uh, researching uh, natural farming since uh, mm. since the turn of the century, basically. Um, his critique is about uh, the destruction of the soil, and his method in in the critique is providing the 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 method and also performing the method in his own farm. So in his farm, he managed. Uh, to uh, to grow rice and grow, um, oh crap, other crops. This other crop, barley, uh, uh, with the same productivity as conventional farming, or at least the, uh, with the same productivity as conventional farming on both uh, on both crops, both rice and and barley, on the same time, like during one one year. So he has uh, twice. Uh, as much uh, food as what his neighbor has, uh -huh. and uh, but also he writes this book and he he, walk, he travels around and helps people uh, get started with the methods that he uses. So that's another. Let's see, what uh, more did I want to say? His critique is is implicit, uh, uh, implicit, implicit uh, but it's definitely what he does is not compatible with uh, with the large corporation and their 
increasing influence over farming and so on and so forth. It's an accelerated accumulation and he says no to it. So what can we do? What, what's the moral? Okay, so I say, okay, we did the oil. Uh, but I suggest more people should do that. Uh, we should uh, fight back this, uh, uh, and we should do that in a constructive way. Uh, one, uh, okay, we have this one, one thing, one experience that I had was this week uh, when um, uh, I was at this bar and I met with this uh, old friend uh, of mine. Uh, he is a security expert. And what he was very happy to see me because that is an opportunity for him to to uh, uh, approach and be critique about uh, some particularities of uh, of the flawfulness of uh, the free post email system. Of course, he didn't know a freaking thing about it because he didn't use it. He was only interested in talking about himself. And uh, what he could do, though, like what he could have been do doing, is ask questions about what we do and then try to find out how you can help. And that is what I what I want to do as well. How can we help? Uh, it does not need to be black and white. Everyone can do something. That is also uh, important. Let's do it. Like I wanna. Yep. This is the last thing. So what I what I uh, um, okay. What I of course humbly I would uh, recognize that what we do is uh, is uh, is small in the scale and, and ambition, like create some email. Uh, but I want to put it in, in the context of important local struggles of uh, global implication. Uh, farmers fight for land, urban folks fight for water, students for independent universities, and we fight for the, for the right uh, and, uh, to f and free access to internet and our means of communication. Internet is designed to be distributed uh, and for equal and uh, unlimited access. And that sounds much like a common to me and uh, common require democracy. And this is where I stop, I think. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, we, are, we don't have uh, time for questions. So ask, please ask your questions in the break. And uh, I would like to make an announce. Uh, we are going to have at six o'clock uh, uh, a session where the organizers want to thank you for your participation. So please, uh, uh, after we finish here, go uh, go to the simula room. So is it uh, is it not possible to uh, to push forward uh, since uh, people also are pushing? Other things forward. Uh, the yeah, if you thank want you to session. give up your break, uh, go ahead. If there is a comment, yes. is there but a comment? If, if you want to take break, you can go for a break. There is a very short comment about water. Uh, it is in fact quite easy to uh, to avoid privatization of water. Sure. Is to have uh, they did it in Italy and they did it in the Netherlands, which is quite quite surprising because the Netherlands is very capitalist minding. It's simply by law to say that it is an unprivatizable resource. Thanks. Very good point. And it's also that's a whole chapter in uh, in the book uh, Bene Communi, uh, and also Vandana Shiva writes about it. At in 2002, this uh, struggle was not uh, finished. It had been ongoing in Italy for for already five years. So easy, I wouldn't say. It took yet another couple of years before uh, Mattei could could state that that we actually f uh, managed to re-communalize uh, a water asset. But that is, that is a very good point and it's a, very it's a happy story because what he actually managed to do as well, uh, in my understanding, uh, is to uh, uh, create this, uh, this uh, what they did was to create this uh, juridistic uh, context around that whole thing. Huh. Other questions? Maybe we should just converse afterwards. Uh. I think uh, if they start at six, or like what's uh, if they start at six down downstairs, if we can take another five minutes. Okay. Yeah. Um, so uh, the tragedy of the commons. Um, this text uh, from 1968 by Garrett Hardin 
um, is on the pensum, on the syllabus, for at least five of my classes yeah. for mm. my yeah. degree in uh, sustainability, milieu aux ressources. Yeah. Um, it has never once been challenged critically in any of these classes. Mm -hmm. And even more shocking, there's a whole section in that text called the freedom to breed is intolerable. And it's all about, uh, well, you can imagine, it, 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 that we should sterilize people and there are specific kinds of people that, w that we should sterilize. And it's very strange to me that um, it, not only is the common idea, commons idea not challenged, the tragedy of it, but that section of this, and the text is only like three pages long. Mm. So it's never once come up. And when I bring it up with my fellow students, they say, yeah, I read that because it's on the pensum. And I ask them about that section and they're like, what? 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 It, it's uh, pretty incredible. So when it comes to the education, we have a really far way to go. And, and we're actually producing um, people that are, it's worse than if they had no education in a way. Uh, so education system is uh, uh, so getting all the way back uh, is in here. It's an enemy. It's on the enemy side. It's here. This is what the education. This is who controls the education system. So what we need to do is do that ourselves. In my, this is my only only reply, but uh, like I also uh, I, I did complex systems and we did simulations of of ecological systems and but also uh, when we when we talked in uh, on the in the tram on the way here this morning and you complained about uh, about the sustainability education that uh, that is need to be part in every every course it's just crap. <laughs> Flush it. Hello, thank you for the talk. Um, as Free Post grows, will you provide other uh, internet services as well? For example, DNS services uh, democratically, for example, for activists, organizations, small ones? Yes, why, uh, why don't we have uh, um, a phone? Uh -huh. Why don't we do uh, switching uh, uh, publicly, so like switched uh, telephone? Why don't we do DNS? Why don't we do BGP routing and so on and so forth? Of course we should do all that. And uh, uh, and to um, uh, any what order at what priority is decided by the, the the people of the organization because the developers and the stakeholders is the same crowd. Uh, because if you're a small activist organization, it's really hard to find ethical hosting. So uh, when it comes to like the the hosting part uh, of like if you talk hardware and uh, uh, and those kind of like the physical hosting thing. Uh, yes, it's very difficult. So we had to do something about that as well before we could even start with organization. Very good point. Okay. Thank you very much for mm. uh, your questions. So uh, climate uh, compensation, that's very important. Uh, I should not I shouldn't say that, that you should, uh, you must climate compensate. No, no, no. So people get angsty about all kinds of things. So ethical hosting, blah, 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 do all. And what can we do? What can I do? What can I do? Uh, then something that you can do is uh, fill in this form and, uh, send, uh, and send the fee. Uh, so here you pay and compensate for all the stuff uh, that you happen to do. I logged in at uh, Google uh, four times this week, blah, 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 and then uh, some other services. And then I used this, this and that, and aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, I think Leif uh, Jöran, he, he spoke about that in the, uh, did he already? Yeah, and um, lightning talks. Yes. Ah, okay. Uh, thank you.